Okay. Well, forgive me if I'm sounding a little rough. Uh, I am should not be awake right now. I stayed up and messed up my sleep schedule to watch the uh, On the Horizon stream from Ghost Ship. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be primarily positive in this video, because I feel like I've hit the dead horse enough about DRG and its current issues. So, Deep Rock Galactic Rogue Core is a basically side launch spin-off game actually being developed by Ghost Ship Games that will be a roguelike version of Deep Rock Galactic. There's not much to be seen of it right now beyond the upgrade selection, a basic pistol, some basic environmental stuff. Uh, just recounting what I can remember right now, they said there's basically only one mineral, the caves are going to be more compact and faster, and there's going to be five or more levels to each run, and then you reach the core of the planet and something happens. I'll play the trailer for Rogue Core for you. But yeah, that's, uh, that'll be coming out into early access November of 2024. So, like I said, I'm not gonna talk about how this relates to DRG right now. That can happen some other time. Looking at Rogue Core for hopefully what it's going to be is what I've wanted DRG to trend towards for a long time. is a more focused gunplay experience in the Deep Rock movement and weapon system obviously it's a little early and clearly the traversal tools and basically everything and there's has been stripped away from the actual classes and they've also stated that there is no class there's everyone is just the same character with a pickaxe and a gun so that's a little alarming to me based on what i like about drg but obviously this game basically doesn't even exist yet so it's a little early to to look at it in that way. So it's a more focused run based, like in mission progression style of game. It's an entirely different game. And immediately that kind of makes me a little excited because that's much more like that much more focused, fast paced gunplay is a lot more what I've been playing DRG for, for a long time in spite of what DRG is. So hopefully a lot of limitations will be removed and will make uh, Rogue Core a better game for that. So in that way, Rogue Core is extremely, extremely exciting to see. Uh, I mean, obviously it, it basically doesn't even exist yet, so there's not really much to talk about or look at, but it definitely gives me something to latch on to and keep me invested in, I mean, just YouTube in general, because... For a long time, I've had that burning, nagging thought in the back of my head is like, if the seasons for Deep Rock Galactic keep trending the way that they do, like, I don't really have much to say. I'm not going to teach people how to clean plague spikes or fight corruptors because it's just how it is. Like, there, was, there wasn't much stuff re in the last couple of years for me to really, like, sink my teeth into, and hopefully Rogue Core will be that game that I can be on that front edge, of, that front leading edge of and get into like extensively 
We've been talking about big fish, small pond for a long time, so I'm not sure whether Rogue Core is going to make that better or worse. Hopefully it'll make things better and expand the horizons of Deep Rock, but we'll see, I guess. An important piece of news that I thought I should provide to you, even if I'm not going to harp on the details of it, is Season 5 for Deep Rock Galactic, the game we're playing right now, does not come out until June of 2024. Meaning, Season 4 will not end until, presumably, May or June of 2024. We've talked about our opinions on Rockpox a lot for a long time. That's, I mean, what is there? There's nothing more to say at this point. Season 4 is going to last for a full year by the time it is over. So, be that as it may, if this is the price we have to play for Rogue Core, so be it. I mean, it's... It's something new. It's a new adventure. So, it, I, I mean, I don't want to continue doing rock pox for, another, for a full year or even more because obviously it started with season three. But I would just really rather season four just ended today and they did a quality of life update and focused their attention on Rogue Core. That's just me. They are planning to do season five as a transitory period to kind of segue into rogue core and also continue to develop drg alongside rogue core and develop season six of drg although there's no information on that yet i i mean it, it's just a tricky conversation because i'm really excited for rogue core i really am like it looks like the version of drg that i've always wanted to play so in that way it's hard for me not to just be like i'll oh, screw drg I'm, I'm just going to go play this, but also, you know, it's, it's not there yet. And at the same time, I don't want Rogue Core to, you know, suck the life out of DRG because I understand that they're adults. They've got to, you know, create something new. They got to make these tough decisions. But at the same time, it's impossible to say that Rogue Core and its development hasn't sucked some life out of DRG already. And this absolutely explains the status of Season 4. This is the answer that we've been looking for, for that question of why is Season 4 the way that it is. It's because a new game was in development. And I understand that they didn't want to say anything about it until now, but it is what it is. Let me know what you think about Rogue Core. I'm super excited for it. It's, you know, I definitely saw a lot of thrash in the stream chat about it, and <laughs> perfectly understandable. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. It's uh, definitely an interesting time. And maybe Ghost Ship will finally have some more critics after uh, the for the layman. They've essentially said DRG is dead L plus ratio, even if that's not the case. But yeah, let me know what you think. As always, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.